Now, uh, one thing that David Young quickly discovered in his quest for paraphernalia was that when it comes to unusual collections, nothing is too small or too big. He's already featured a remarkable collection of tiny matchboxes, and tonight in Somerset he meets up with an enthusiast who, if nothing else, appears to be on the right tracks. <laughs> I haven't enjoyed a day out so much for ages, thanks to the members of the Oval College and District Model Engineering Society. Why, oh, why did the railways get rid of their steam engines? Today's diesel locomotives are mere shadows of their illustrious ancestors. Still, thanks to the skill and enthusiasm of the club's members, the age of steam is still with us. Founder President Bob Wilson told me how it all began. The club started because we were running a, an evening class at the college um, and uh, for model engineering and uh, the members felt that they ought to have a track nearby to run it on. It took us about three years to make all together. The uh, pillars are um, from British Rail, they use them as levelling things and then the top is uh, wood which gives it a, a nice spring and a, a steady, fairly quiet ride. And what's your membership now then? We have 35 at the moment and uh, it seems to be st fairly steady at that. And do they all make their own locomotives? That's what fascinates me. Almost all of them make their own. We bought a club loco to, uh, for people to practice on. But other than that, everybody is making their own thing. I was trained as an engineer and uh, stumbled across the hobby and basically couldn't afford to buy one so it was a case of actually setting to and making one. So how long does it take you to make one? Uh, the first one took 500 hours and the second one's taken over a thousand hours now. So it's getting quite ambitious. What does that actually cost you physically in, 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 in time and money? Time and money, um, well it means working most weekends on it in time. Money, um, I bought the boiler for it uh, so the big one probably costs about £800 all told, but half the cost being the boiler. But if you build the boiler, it can be much cheaper again. But it's still several hundred pounds worth of metal. So how much would it have cost you to have actually bought one like this then? Uh, the big red one, about £3,500 to buy a brand new one, custom built. <laughs> And that seems to be the secret of this delightful hobby. Build your own engine. It's cheaper and much more fun. Especially when it comes to stoking up the boiler. For this is a hobby for everyone. Age is no barrier. Perhaps after all, we are all still children at heart.